while debugging code of our application. Can we customize our object property value in the debugger window? Hi there, this is Krishnaraj from Byte Scout, and in this video, we will explore the different ways of customizing our object property value in the debugger window. So, sometime while debugging our code, it can be useful to have customized output available in the debugger window. In this code, I have defined an object of patient detail class which contain a fewer getter setter property. Now, when I run this application and hover over this patient detail object, you can see that at the root level, we just get the name of the type. And when we expand this down, here we will get the individual property and their value. Now, let me stop debugging this code. Now, the first way that we can start to take some control of the debugger output is to override the toString method in this patient detail class. So, for that, let me define the override method of toString. And instead of this, let me return this string. So, here you can see that first we will set the patient name property over here and concatenate this this is history list with this pipe sign using string dot join method now let's run this code and check our object property value so now this time when i hover over this object you can see our customized two string value well this one doesn't affect the individual members inside this object and the other option we have is to use the debugger display attribute so instead of this overriding two string method we will use the debugger display attribute. So let me comment out this two string method. So in our case, we will be going to apply the debugger display attribute at class level. So in this square bracket, let us define this debugger display attribute. And here in the parameter, we need to supply a string. And within this string, you can reference the member of the class. Now in this string, to reference the class member, we need to enclose the name of the member in the curly braces like this. So here this patient name property is referring to this property name and this flattened disease history is referring to this property. Now let's run this application again. And now when I look at the debugger window, we can see that the root level now uses the debugger attribute at the class level. So here we get the patient name and his disease history list. Well, we can also apply this debugger display attribute at individual property level and we can also use this attribute at class level struct level delegates level and enum level so whenever you use this debugger display attribute you should make sure that it actually does increase the clarity at the debug time rather than distract from it 